absolutely beautiful. Look at these tiles, bro. Hello, nerds, and welcome back to our Russian Lava Preserve game. If this is the first time finding the channel. I'm going to link for part one right here in the description. But otherwise, welcome back. Man, yeah, now we're just working on theater squares. Um, this city's actually going to go ahead and go with theater square festivals. So we can get as many great people as possible. Now we have an artist here, but he already has an art slot in this art museum. So I'm putting his second one into the capital because duplicate art in the same museum will give less culture and tourism. This writer doesn't have a location to go, but they'll be able to go into a new theater square like the Pingala city soon. And I can't trade with America because I haven't fog busted down here. That's annoying. But here we are, we're gonna step on in. Kill a unit with a musket men. Get the crossbows in. We can definitely use the knight to help siege the city. Oh, there we go. Now we can trade with Baltimore. Awesome. Get the crossbow shots. And I think we're just gonna fortify a line here. Oh, actually let's grab this kill. Oh no, there's the last sieve, please. No, he's right there. He's right there. Let me see him. Let me see. Oh no. Oh, you were so close. Let's get our galleon to help with the siege, the trebuchet. There's so many units. It's a Mansa Musa. I discovered him before he dies. Yay. Oh, he's got generals. And he's got the extra movement, which makes this very complicated. And the tricky thing about today's war is not only to save a ton of units, but even after we get through all these units, he's building Renaissance walls, meaning we won't be able to use siege towers or battering rams to take out those walls. We're just going to rely entirely on our bombards, which is tough. We're really going to need a general so we have additional movement, especially on the bombards. Okay, whatever kills we can here. Nice. Now we need to go straight up to Cossacks. I need to get a kill with this knight too, to try to get it boosted. Really need this general. Let's grab it right now with that faith. We'll take out the policy cards, run conscription, run retainers. Um, I'll actually raid would be really nice for us. Take out Gothic architecture, run triangular trade, and I need to run frescoes soon. We have access to printing as well, so if I can get the Forbidden City, I will. Um, I will take out this deer for that tile, but I think that's absolutely okay, given how good this wonder is. I will see if someone else is building it though, and someone just started, so if I if I go for it right now, I should be okay given that our production numbers in this city is absolutely crazy. I'm gonna need some archeological museums. Let me sell some resources too. That way I could buy the archeological museum to boost natural history, get us closer to conservation. Our science is a little low this game, but that's okay. Yes, we need one more preserve here. Oh, there's Mont Saint Michel being built. The free walls we got here are actually going to be pretty useful for defending their counterattack. We'll prioritize this trebuchet to get rid of it, as well as this one. It looks like they're trying to build a district, a theater square. Oh, you shouldn't have. I'll be able to hit with the bombards. Take the city right off, right out. Kill you with a knight. Perfect boost, step and shoot, and we can take our first city. Keep it, not much rating yet, but that will come soon. We're gonna grab Victor, assign him to this city, holding loyalty here. Then I need to target these two cities next. And this city I believe would love a commercial hub. We'll send our general down here to the main army, specifically the Bombards, so that they can move and shoot. And I need to get my open borders back with everyone. I forgot to send him a delegation. That's okay. Oh, I need to get my... <laughs> I almost forgot. I need to get my military ally in on this war. Join my war. There you go. I'll give you a little bit of gold even to do so. 
So that gives us an additional five combat strength and fighting units from our military alliance. Can we actually get Teddy involved too? Haha, <laughs> yes. Fantastic, get everyone at war with Simone. Um, and actually the Aztecs, if we get him to come in the war, have him be attacked on all sides. Amazing. Settle a city here, and we'll get a Lavra here as well. Please don't kill Auckland. Oh, I lost a crossbow. All right, well, we have some units to clean, clean up over here. I have faith, so I might as well focus on things like horsemen. Cossack require horses. I don't have horses. So these units will be used as pre-built for our Cossacks, which if you're not familiar, have an additional five combat strength compared to the cavalry that they replace. They can move after the attack, and because they have additional five common strength in the, your home territory, they tend to be interpreted as defensive units, but we can use them offensively. Man, this city would actually be very quick to take. Oh, it has Renaissance walls. Never mind. Let's go straight for this city, I think. Kill a unit there. Uh, I don't want to step with this general because it's going to send him back to his own units. And I'd rather they actually didn't have their general. They're trying to build walls here, so I need to stop that. And wherever I can just build walls for general tourism is not a bad idea. Had I been present. Hello? Who are you? Didn't think I have to worry about that. All right, we have a preserve down here as well. Let me get the harbor. This guy's almost dead, so I need to be careful. But I'll send in the crossbows. Do as much damage as we can here. Oh, he's so close. Oh, can I take the city? I can! Let's go! Keep. Mine. Oh man, there's actually more preserves we could do here. Hang on. Yes, that would work. That would work! Now we need to hit the city in his capital. Get this guy with the bombards. Get a little bit of experience out. We'd also love to finish nationalism. And we have an encampment here to hit as well. But we can hit this city from both sides. Beautiful. Time for Cossacks. Got nationalism. Let's grab garrison commander so we can get extra loyalty from cities we take. We can actually step and promote here for commando. And then these coursers specifically are here for pillaging tiles. Get another commando. Crossbows would be great to combine together. Start hitting the encampment. My builder. Oh, Mogadishu is fantastic to hear. I would love to send envoys to them. I'm not gonna spend time with Dipple League. Just gonna go for a level two relationship with them to get gold in my banks eventually when I build those. And apparently I'm gonna need retinues again for horses. Cause I have no sources of horses. Teddy wants to be friends too. That is amazing. That's gonna help us out a ton in getting an alliance with him, getting open borders with him, securing it for the rest of the game. But also it's time to raid. Raid, raid. These are Ren walls. I can also faith buy musketmen here so I can combine them together. And we're not in a rush in this war either. Just trying to gain value. Got my builder back. <laughs> Can't believe that guy. And we actually have gold for two groves right now. Holy cow. All right, gotta be careful with those horses. I was hoping he was gonna pillage to heal that turn. Get shells on this guy. And yeah, we're a little clogged up here, but we're pushing through, we're pushing through. Get another art museum, amphitheater. And we'll go ahead and buy a grove here. Getting great tiles there. <laughs> and we'll come over down here, also buy a grove here. 
fantastic tiles. Just helping us scale through the game. Sell away some XX luxuries, buy some luxuries back. 18 content cities. Let's get a night here to get a core. Man, of all our neighbors, I just had to be Grand Columbia. Oh well, we can still crush them, right? But we hit a Renaissance era, another Golden Age. Triple monumentality, heck yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just combine these crossbows to keep him safe. City is now under siege. I really start need to start hitting the city itself. Let's go ahead and finish this encampment. We've started it. There we go. City's tough, but it's given us time to pillage it all the way down. Keep getting harbors. Now the Hermitage is something we could actually try to build. And then Pingala City would be the best place to put it, which is right there. Even though that's a fantastic tile to work. I would love to get to Seaside Resorts, which is unlocked at Radio. Way up here. We are very far behind in tech this type of game. But at least we're getting 30 science per turn from Beliefs. I do have to say a quick little thank you to everyone that's been subscribing to the channel lately. We've been having crazy growth and I'm glad to see people have enjoyed the videos. So, so just thank you. We finally hit our Cossacks. Now we can come back up here, grab some more of this tech stuff. I need to get my bombards on the hills so they can actually hit the city. Man, Renaissance walls, they stink. Let's get another artist. This guy is also, this is actually a religious artist. So we'll put these down. Yeah, Auckland's dead. That is unfortunate. They're trying to kill on musket men. And the crossbows that are hanging here. Oof. Oh man, it's so hard to predict his movements because he has the additional movement. Now my bombards are actually in danger. Let's go ahead and buy some Cossacks. And an archaeologist. Sixty-three to sixty-three. And we are getting musician points. Let's also try to make sure that we're buying up the writers, especially from Teddy. I need to buy another art museum here. Man, this city is hard to take. And when the unlocking of conservation, now we have access to the national parks as well as sanctuaries. Those are just fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the builder card immediately so we can go ahead and get tons and tons of builders so we can plant a bunch of woods. Take out retinues as well. And I'm gonna plug in logistics to get plus one movement. This is just to make fighting, fighting this world a little bit easier. We're then gonna go around and we're gonna they fight builders in every city. Builder, 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 builder. <laughs> I mean, I, I could save some of this faith, but we have so much of it. I'm gonna send this archeologist down and then get a, get a builder here. Grab a builder here. We're gonna just focus um, getting all of our national parks in this area at first. I'm gonna also grab another writer. So I'm gonna need more and more amphitheaters. We can put another art here. Michelangelo, we go to a new theater, and we're gonna immediately build these sanctuaries. Oh my goodness, this could be so good. Let's get some universities online. I'm gonna grab the Mexico City artifact. Those are generally pretty rare. And let's go ahead and get these bombards together so that they can all hit the city this turn. And the city is about to fall. I'm gonna get the Cossack in, as well as hopefully buy some more Cossacks on this side or even just another bombard I think would be useful here. Since my melee units can't really hit the Renaissance walls, I need to focus on the actual siege equipment itself. And we'll get a tech boost there. We'll step these units in. And this knight is actually gonna take a hit. Let's go for banking. And we should be able to hit the city next turn. Keep getting the builders. Ooh, it's really close. Oh, I lost someone. 
That's okay. Uh, there's a military emergency. Please don't do this. Please don't do this to me. Please don't do Did this to me. Hey, the Taj Mahal. <laughs> Let's ignore the sound of a uh, war declaration happening in the background and just focus on this beautiful wonder. And it passed. Who passed? Aztec and Simone and Caesar. Uh-oh. Uh, let me make sure I keep my alliances. I need to get my military alliance with Manatore and the, I believe I had an economic alliance with her. Teddy, yep, he's our friend, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and we're gonna start planting woods in all of our preserves. Getting it nice. <laughs> Dude, this is so good. Another preserve is done. Another grove. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. This is absolutely my favorite part. And the sanctuary is gonna actually help us a lot when it comes to that science deficit. Chop here for woods. I'm gonna start getting the naturalists in our arena city too. All right, I need to take this city now. So let's take out the walls. And this guy needs to survive. Let's get a farm pillage here. Oh, this guy is technically in an encampment. Let me pillage where I can. I'll we'll take the city. <laughs> it automatically kills that unit. Nice. Let me also make sure I keep getting more Cossacks. I need to get more horses, apparently. So I'm going to buy horses here. Get a couple Cossacks there. This guy needs to go home. Keep this city as well. And we're going to move Victor up again. So I'll be able to hit this city. I'll be able to hit the capital. And we're trying to focus on getting as much value out of this war as possible. So pillaging every single tile. Um, I would also love to get the line infantry upgrade. That could help out a lot. And our goal here is to build as specifically as much faith as possible to get as many national parks and builders and everything else that we need. Manatory artifact. Oh no. Oh, this scout. No. Oh, poor guy. All right, scout. Go out fighting. Well, he tried. And we have three envoys. Let me go ahead and put an envoy into our ma. Get them to flip back on our side. Oh, I should have done that first. Oh, well. He wants peace. I do not want it, though. I'm just getting started. Denounced. Okay. Civs are going to start denouncing us. That's not good. <laughs> this is not good. So can we run public works now? Get promotions on these guys. And run the Cossacks down this way. Looks like he built the Alhambra. I would love to take that. We can totally get some upgrades here. I'm going to upgrade Victor with Embrasure as well to get free promotions when I fate buy units. I'm going to kill a couple of their hanging units. Go Opera and Ballet, Theological Museums. This artifact is also a Manatore, unfortunately, but they're all different areas anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So my main military is going to come through here, but I'm going to pillage this land as well, as much as I can. And then we have our first national park planned right there. And for the rest of the game, there's no way we're missing any more Golden Ages. Get additional production on all these tiles. <laughs> Oh, man! My favorite. And the problem with going with a late game war that a lot of civs don't like you because of it. The grievances penalties is much higher in the late game. I want to renew the listening post here, but you can see here we have 81 combat strength musketmen core versus their plain musketmen. We'll get our bombards ready to move up for the capital. And here we are, getting ready to pillage with Cossacks. Grab mass production. We're finally getting merchants. I can also plug in a new policy card, so let's get the professional army card. So I can upgrade these musketmen into line infantry, as well as this into another Cossack. Keep getting builders around this area and just plant all of the trees. This is gonna look so good. 
We get an additional two envoys here. Now, I'd love to get a kill up bonus for gold city states. Let's grab Banner Bernai and go for Mogadishu as well. Look how good this land is. There's the cartography boost by building two harbors. This city is growing nice and quickly. So we can just throw down theater squares. Let's grab Mogadishu. This should increase our gold per turn substantially. Actually, it was pretty low before. We'll keep pillaging. Step in with our bombards with the general. Good promotion there. Get some pillaging going. Pillage. And now that I have Victor here, I can actually faith buy more bombards with free promotions. Feels pretty good. Plant in woods, plant in woods, plant in woods. Now I do want to see if I could buy any great works of art. We could buy a religious art from Teddy and Canada. And hopefully that should let us theme Novgorod, which is our Pingala city, which is fantastic. All right, this city is pretty much fully pillaged, but here we go. And one shot some trebuchets. Get the general moved in. Get the bombards going. I definitely need to unlock field cannons, which means I need to get a military engineer so I can build a couple of forts. Oh, there's a courser over here. Whoops. Well, let me get another Cossack to try to deal with that problem that I just ran into. And we'll keep getting naturalists. Now, you could argue that I shouldn't be going to war because of the penalty to open borders that we're getting here, but we're getting so much value out of faith and getting a lot more builders and national parks because of it. And if as long as you have more than 25% the amount of national parks you would have had otherwise, you have more tourism, as well as more gold, more science, more cities, and you'll be able to get trade routes to more civs more easily, which is actually more important than the open borders. You just come way out on top. Laventa? Laventa's in the game. Let's go, please. Please, 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 please. I need immediately, diplomatically. I don't care if it's going to slow down everything else. This is the most important city state to find. Not only will getting Susan of them give us the kill up bonus for 15% faith across the entire empire, but also we could spam colossal heads, which give a ton of tourism. Right, put the forts down here. Get a bombard forward. Hit this city with bombards. Get a pillage there. Get a pillage here. Get a pillage there. And the capital's about to fall. These guys are just going straight through and pillaging more. So I guess we can come back and make sure we actually siege the city. I do need those fuel cannons. Need universities. And even though these are great St. Basil cities, tiles, I do need them in the Reina city. We are the tourism leader. We're also the second highest in tech, but Teddy is just running away. He has 138 domestic tourists. What? We are losing a couple units here. That's fine. They were just there to extract value. And there we are. Forbidden city. An extra policy card is going to really help us out because we have a ton of policies I want to run. Beautiful. So now I can run an additional card. I can also switch out Diplomatic League. Something like Simultaneum. Or what I really need, I need artists. So we get two artist points per turn and two for every art museum. And we'll keep trading with our ally. Get our universities online. I need a scale in science. Our Pingala city can finally get a campus. So we'll just do the plus three campus. Two more envoys, grab Laventa, watch our faith go from 615 to 723 per turn. My naturalist, that's a, that's a whole naturalist per turn. <laughs> that's amazing. And I need to remove that, I need to get this here. National park, national park. Chop out the woods. Builders. Hit this city. Grab a builder. Pillage this tile, take the city. The other crazy thing about Cossacks is that if you use them offensively like this, your borders are expanding. 
So you can use these advancing borders to get the plus five combat strength that they're in or adjacent to your home territory. So instead of a 62 strength cavalry, we have a 67 strength unit, the additional plus five from being adjacent to territory, additional plus five from a general, and a plus 10 from being cored. So without even factoring in spies and flanking and promotions, they're strong. My spy isn't done yet though. I can move him all the way to this city now. I think that's where I want him to stay. I'm gonna switch off a of Scorched Earth because we're getting these forts down. Hit that trebuchet. And we're gonna keep on getting, <laughs> just these bombards are so good. Though I do wanna combine these Cossacks. So I'll keep getting them. And with free promotions because of Victor, nice. And now that I have access to Colossal Heads, I want to spam these pretty much anywhere I can. They give faith an additional faith if adjacent to Woods and Rainforest, but also tourism and flight. So this city is actually falling to loyalty. We're going to Cossack in, give it a promotion, and then we're going to core it. And we can come straight down for this city. I got a bunch of bombards here. I could core them together. But there we are. Colossal heads. By faith per turn, they give so much faith. I can almost move this art. This city has a district slot, but I just want to work on the sanctuary. Another pillage there, I didn't even notice. So much faith per turn right now. Might as well go to National Park there. This can all be National Parks. Really, a lot of it can just be colossal heads. All right, we'll get our two forts, boost ballistics. Now, these guys can't just sit around forever. These cities are getting strong. But they are gaining experience. Put the city under siege as well. Bring the general up. Bunch of colossal heads everywhere again. National parks, national parks. Get another national park right here. Now there is Philippe, who I could look at up for too. Yeah, this guy's getting real hurt. Is he close to a promotion? Not necessarily. A quick village. Colossal head. We're gonna get more bombards over here. But I'd also like a bombard here. Oh, hello, room. Also upgrade the field cannons to get scorched earth. Now to industrialization and then flight. I could actually get an industrial zone which would be incredibly useful for production in the local area. And water parks, water parks are discounted. Water park in the lake. I finished another spy. We also have two envoys. I think we're gonna go spy on Pacha Cutie. Also get some, maybe some colossal heads up here. These cities could spam Colossal Heads. Nice. Yep, lost that unit, that's okay. We have 21 tourists already though. I can also get the Crested Ran Tour, which will increase our religious tourism from relics and holy cities, but also double the tourism from our seaside resorts. And even put it on a worthless snow tile. Nice. And here we are, our sanctuaries. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that tile. Six food, five production, two gold, two science, five culture, five faith. Ridiculous. Um, I really should have had a Diplo quarter by now. 800 faith per turn. Grab a Moksha. 
Honestly, I might as well send Mag Magnus back to the cap. Maybe get the growth promotion soon. Run logistics, of course. And total war. Let's move some of these, cart these uh, art around. Three different religious art from different artists, meaning that's now themed. Village that. Bombard, bombard. Oh, there's a bunch of units here. Let's take care of them. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me get some builders over here to spam Colossal Heads. Now, the only save that I'm actually trading with is America and Nubia. And you trade with the Inca to get those percentage modifiers on tourism. And I have open borders with everyone except the guys I'm at war with because, you know, it, it, the borders are open in a sense, right? Mm -hmm. That hurt. Sir. He's coming back with legions and crossbows. <gasps> Finally, a source of horses! But yeah, keep pillaging for faith. Beautiful. Let's go to a plus six neighborhood. Why not? I can't trade with Inca. Dang. Well, that's a bummer. So we're just slowly pushing through here. This city's almost fallen. Get a pillage in the campus. Finally, our first horse pasture. It's time for ideology. Now we're building Cristo up here. We're gonna build the Hermitage in the Pangala City because there's a bunch of great work slots and Broadway has to be built in this city. Bolshoi Theater could also be built somewhere. Looks like we build it right there. A couple of key wonders you kind of want in any tourism game. Grab Liang as well. Might as well have her for builders. Let me get this national park. Oh, we have multiple. Multiple in this city. Oh, wow. Also, make sure we get our archaeologist. Get a listening post back for combat strength. Keep our units alive. Once we get to flight, all these colossal heads will also give us tourism. Here we go, we can take the city. Beautiful. The city is mine. Also kill your units. Claim another artist. We are now making 42 artist points per turn because of the Frescoes card. Phenomenal, we get more national parks. Navarad's full. We have a religious and landscape artist. We might as well just put these down. I'd also love if I could buy relics from the AI. I can for some flat gold. Make sure that's in my St. Basil city because St. Basil doubles tourism from relics. These guys are getting hurt by attacking this city, but we are slowly winding it down. Tons and tons of national park potential over here. And actually I might pull up some of these colossal heads I just put down for the sake of the national parks. But my naturalists are now a thousand faith per. Grab another artifact. Wu Zetin. Rome one's peace. Awesome. I can get him out of the war. Probably Aztecs too. And we can immediately get open borders back with him. Yeah, you can pay me with a few luxuries, eh? Nice. Make deal. Get open borders. Let's see if we can do the same with Aztecs. Not bad. Industrialization in two, and then flight. Three envoys. Might as well hold on to these for a little bit. Oh, look at that. Plus eight. Colossal head, though. Uh, 
Uh, we continue the pillaging. We're gonna do this little trick here to faith by a bombard, grab another one, faith by a bombard, and literally just core them all up. These guys are doing enough damage now that this is actually pretty much worth it to just keep slamming it. You can see these national parks are making like 40 tourism, 20 tourism, compared to about 20 from my theater squares. Beautiful, we're at turn 147. We could maybe win this game, oh yeah. We could totally just win this game sub 200. We got ideology and I would love to go for democracy this game. Now just time for the Theater Square Festivals. Theater Square Festivals, Theater Square Festivals. Colossal Heads. Got a pillage. Got a pillage. There is industrialization. Oh, hello. There we go. This spy will gain sources before they siphon funds. That city should be able to fall in the next turn. We got a couple more national parks right here. For mega national park. And I really do need to get to broadcast centers. We also found coal in our... Actually, wait, no, that's not a preserve. It's just woods. Cool. So we have coal up here, up here, down here. It seems like we have enough of it. Let's take the city. Mine. Got a pillage. This guy has four movements, so he can step and pillage, right? It's a flat tile. Oh, he gets a promotion. Fantastic. Got a couple more industrial zones now. Still holding on to these envoys. My scouts are still exploring. I could find better city states here soon. At any moment. Now we actually could go for a rock band before we go to democracy so we can keep the theocracy discount for a little while. Teddy has the most domestic tourists and now that we're his neighbor, we can actually easily send him trade routes and open borders, which is nice. And also rock bands. And we have open borders with every other city in the game except for, oh, it looks like Scythia needs it. And let me see, if anyone's close to liking us, we're gonna send them an embassy. This will give us a slight boost to our friendship. More colossal heads. Big heads. And we're probably gonna leave Grand Columbia here with these lands, though I would love to pillage it, even if I don't take them. Let's go for more artist points. And the luxury thing again. Ah, oh, they voted down tobacco last time. Double scientist. Okay, it's time for flight. Let me see, can I faith by a engineer? Uh, in a little bit. I think some of these Kozaks can just run over here. Boom, boom, boom. Dude, he has so many generals. It's ridiculous. Let's get our full mine. Couple tiles of pillage, so I'll wait. I'll wait till next turn. Yeah, I definitely want to go over here pillaging. And I really need more amenities this game. Actually, let's put envoys into Leventa to get more faith per turn. Nice. And some more woods here to get that breathtaking. And we're just banking faith right now. Either for Filippo or Rock Bands. And here we are. Uh, I do want Filippo, actually. That'd be great. And then after flight, it's either computers or steel, given that we have so much appeal-based tourism. Oh my goodness, that hurricane. All right. We're definitely getting as many theater squares as possible. Buying markets so I can trade with faraway civs. One more pillage is here. There we are. 
taking another city for myself. Got a builder back. I can settle over this way. Oh man, so much more room to do anything we want. Feels good. Oh yeah, there are lots of village right here. Holy cow. Dude, this hurricane's massive. Let's grab the Alhambra, which gave us another military policy slot. Levy on mass for more gold return feels good then. Pacha cutie artifact. Let me go through all my cities and get all of my archaeologists. Of course, I was building that one. Oh well. See, not that many people really hated what I just did. Just Monta Musa and the Inca. Everyone else was like, yeah, cool. You're cool, bro. Let's grab these artifacts down here. Might as well build some walls. There we are. Another national park. And the mega, mega park. Nice. Oh, you know what I should do is get a road. Get a settlement here so I can get some trade routes directly with America. Looks like no one's building Broadway. No one's building Hermitage. And no one's building Cristo. Also, no one's building Bushlight Theater. So, Fleet Book could be used for any of these wonders. If you can walk from and we discover flight. We just get a huge jump to our tourism because we're getting now tourism off of our colossal heads. Ow. Sir, my lavras. I do want to get radio though for the broadcast centers quickly. I need two shipyards. Let's buy one there. This guy has to fix a bunch of stuff. Oh, we have rock bands. All right, time for democracy. Let me spam a bunch of rock bands out of this area so I can send them straight to America. And this is why we stayed in theocracy for a little bit to get all these for a discount. Let's get the wonder card in. Yeah, let's focus on Broadway because I have a couple of spare writers and musicians sitting around. Get a little bit of gold here, a little bit of tech there. I'm not a bully, I swear. I can't believe she killed Rapa Nui and Auckland. Let's buy a lighthouse here, as well as buy a shipyard to boost steam power. And then we can pillage the rest of the way through it. Nice, we can get railroads, we can get radio. Radio boost by National Park, you think so? <laughs> we did it. Getting some sanctuaries online, getting some late game science online. Behold. Oh, there's a wonder here. And the super basics about rock bands is that you give them promotions about performing on certain districts, and then you have them perform on those. Um, also, music festivals can perform on natural wonders, like How Long Bay. Yo, that sounds dope as hell. Glam rock theater squares. That's so good. Yeah, glam rock. Rush through Broadway. And then I need to trade her out with Rome. Here we are. We have another turn of theocracy. So let me send these guys forward. Get another round of rock bands. And now let's change governments to democracy. Actually, logistics for those builder movement is just so good. I mean, plug in new deal is is the new big deal. <laughs> I'm gonna plug in Raj as well as, oh wait, colonial taxes is so much production. Yeah, let's run a colonial taxes. Given that this entire thing is a continent split. Oh man, Casa would have been an amazing play this game. Let's go for shopping malls. There's a little bit of tourism, or actually cultural heritage feels good. This city can also get a theater square. It's a plus three right here. Get the shipyard built, trade with Rome. And pillage. Pillage. There we go. That's a lot of, that's a lot of bombardment. Campus is fully pillaged. Oh, there's a mine here to pillage next turn though. And we are really scaling. Now this could all of be colossal heads as well. So I will need things to spam builders around here, but also theater squares. Here are, I have an amphitheater coming down. You grab this writer, rush Broadway through. We can also get Seaside Resorts next turn. Nice. Oh, units came out. So we step here, pillage, bombard the unit. 
kill the unit, and then take the city. We now have how many cities? A lot. Two of them are static. Get another artist and a musician. And we finally have depredation. Nice, I should be able to pillage that last city really fast. And we're doing 3D Square Festivals, because we're making, what, tons of artists and writer points right now? Now oh, I can finally trade with uh, the Inca. We're gonna play uh, goes to 11, a wonder guy. Here we are. We're just a little bit over an era score. We have 50 Taurus right now. Please move your general. Denounced by the Aztecs, oof. Oh well. <laughs> you think I care? Oh, hello. Radio, people. Depredation, depredation, nice. And now we can go for rather thing up to steel. Environmentalism is also fantastic to have. And I'm gonna save this trade out for Grand Columbia specifically. Just flooding rock bands this way. And I think I actually do want to run another amenity card. Oh, Heritage Tourism, 100% Tourism from Great Works of Art and Artifacts. And you start running my Tourism cards. And then these guys can simply just start coring up, army up, because the war is finally over. I also need to get the Builder card back in and start getting some Seaside Resorts down, which we're not going to have a ton of because you can't put them in Tundra, but we have all this land down here now. Dude, get out of the way. And let's perform on our, our first rock band on a natural wonder. In all, like, look at how awesome that looks. Oh, uh, how terrible they sound. Get off the stage. Boo! That actually is really upsetting. All right, we can peace out with Grand Columbia now. He will fall to loyalty, unfortunately, it looks like. But before I peace out, just take the last thing I can from him. The last of everything I can. Peace. Open borders and a trade route. That way we can immediately siphon all of his domestic tourists away. All right, everyone except for those that have denounced us have his borders with us. I need to have trade routes with as many of them as I can. So we have Rome, Grand Columbia, Nubia, Inca. The Aztecs might be doable. Never mind. Where are they? Oh, they're so far away. Oh, this city I can buy a grove? Nice. And a sanctuary? Oh, nice. Gotta love preserves. There we are, I can place this book down. Oh, actually a tree, a settler over here to grab this land and get trade routes through here might actually be useful. We'll keep fog busting in this area. The general can be retired for a relic too? Oh, let's go. Put that in the same basil. Nice. And this city has plus eight amenity because of all the national parks. <laughs> Which speaking of, maybe I do put this national park down because that would help amenities in these cities. Oh, I can't. It's too far. Well, never mind. All right. Oh, also, I realized Valletta would be great for faith buying walls for tourism. Dump our envoys into there. Rome's announced us and has a bunch of units around us for some reason. I swear you don't want to do this, Rome. Now, this city could actually use a sanctuary as well. Beautiful. Also, I need to get those broadcast centers in. So I guess I'm sending my army back to defend these cities if something weird happens. There's a bunch of these cards that I need to prioritize, like <laughs> online communities and heritage tourism. And there's 25% tourism, as well as collective activism would be really strong. Ooh, Admiral points. What do we get here? Instantly creates a privateer. That's awesome. Because we can get two privateers to boost electricity. And it's time. Broadcast center time. The city's going to fall. That's uh, not my fault. <laughs> not my fault. All right, at this point, I think I'm going to stop the buying rock bands. Yes, rock bands are kind of the way to really solo out a single sieve on tourism, but when you have a huge map like this, sometimes it's better just to focus on base tourism that affects everyone, and that can actually come out on top compared to other types of tourism. So spamming colossal heads down here sounds fantastic. All right, here we go. This is a theater square guy. Should perform well, three out of four chance of not, 
of not retiring, and there we go! That was a very small amount of tours I've generated, but it's something. We're at 70 out of 176. Rome! Okay, first of all, brood. Museum. A... We got a museum. Oh, and Broadway! Two wonders back to back. That's fantastic. Oh my gosh. I love this game sometimes. Wait. What is that? Is that the four? Wait, when did this start? When? No, 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 that's my national parks. No, no, that's gonna kill my appeal. No, wait. Oh no, I can't even stop it. I can't, I can't even chop the woods on the national parks. No, it's gonna go all the way up here. No, no, no. Oh.